<clears throat> hey everybody, this is the best Jack999, and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 2. Last episode, we cleared out the debt, but unfortunately, we forgot Louie. So now we're going back to the plan to get even more treasure and also save Louie. And we're starting today's episode off at the perplexing pool, and our ship is now solid gold. Shall make Hoka take pride of the golden, indisputable king of deep sea, long haul fright. Freight. Then everyone will be gaudily clad in gold like me. No, I'm unique and beautiful. Yes. All more, I must ask you that you take extreme care as to not insult or endanger our president. From now on, where could Louis be to be stuck in an uncivilized planet with no food at all? I mean, there is food. It might be foreign to him, but I don't know. Could be, you could eat it, maybe. Not die. Ah, yeah, so the president. He has finally left his place and decided to join us. The bravest of them all. Ah, okay. Plexing cool. Nah, before all its changes. We've only been here once, I believe. So, yes. Ah. Uh, there is a, I know there's a dungeon right here, but I don't want to tackle that one yet. Let's go for a, uh, I'm going to take it easy for today, and uh, let's go to, there's one over here. Glutton's Kitchen, I believe it's called. So, uh, uh, what should I bring? Ten purples, because I know you can get purples there. So ten's, ten's good enough. Whites. I don't think you need whites, but ten, I always like to have them just in case. Reds. Uh, 30 reds. Thirty yellows. And then the rest blues. You absolutely do not need blues, but I just like to bring Pikmin. <sighs> Alright, so, uh... Hmm, there's a frog there. A wallywog. Let's get in our way, so let's kill him. God. <laughs> ah! I almost thought I lost the Pikmin there. That would be crazy. Alright, uh, since I feel like we're gonna be sidetracked a lot, uh, Olimar, we're gonna take the yellows somewhere. There's these guys, but uh, yellows won't be dealing with them. Ah, the worms. We'll also be farming berries, too. Some yolk there. Nectar. I always called it yolk. I guess I'm pretty sure I brought that up before. Excuse me, my good sir. Ah, yes. Ow. Alright, I always love collecting uh, enemies. Just so satisfying. Come on. Alright. Uh, yellow? Yo, look at that. Uh, they probably won't intersect, so that's good. Let's kill all you guys. I know in the first game this would be a problem swarming them, but in the second game, nope. You can get Pikmin out of them pretty easily. Like you can escape? Hmm. Ah yes, perplexing pool. It's... It's... I don't know, it's... It's an alright place. Okay, you can stop the fire dance, Pikmin. Ah! Stop! Kill them, President! Show them no mercy! One's got away, but you know what? He knows now. He's an example.
They moved too, which is kind of weird. Did they finish? I don't know, yeah. I thought I heard the turn you're done sound. Worm, where do you go? Oh, what's this worm? Okay, that was the done sound. Alright, uh, Pikmin, you stay right here. I don't want to just do that. Uh, let's get this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's the new cave we've discovered. Why does this ship want to drool? Huh. I don't know. Uh, but about this map... I don't know. When I first played this game, this map was uh, just an experience because I didn't know what to... really do here a lot. What the- ah! And this guy, like, I don't know, like, there was a lot of places to explore this map, and it just felt really nice to be able to, like, see it, but all this water, I was like, oh, how am I ever going to do this and get the blues? And it just took me a good while to figure it out. Especially coming to this area, I always see this, and I'm like, how do I, I want to go there, I want to go there. Eventually I did. I was on my mind a lot, too, when I first played this game. But then finally... Being able to figure out how to get there and everything is always a good feeling. Like you just solved it yourself. I can't let you live. You're a menace. Pikmin? I don't need those, but you know what? It's fine. Great, uh... Good enough to head into the cave now. This, this map's kind of tricky though, like, to get all the above ground treasure in a day is probably pretty tough. I just, it's, I think it's just too big to be able to do it. Like, just mapping the best route to get all the treasures is always a little difficult for me on this map. All the other ones really aren't that bad. Alright, 100 Pikmin. Let's do this. A glutton's kitchen. The sin of gluttony. Just electricity. <sighs> but with the treasure from the last cave, uh, all the other caves now should be lit, and I like that. Just like, just like how I like the brightness. Okay, see? This is a really weird one, though. Like, just these enemies. Like, why? Why so many of these guys? I think they're actually the toughest of these enemies. Even though they're small and they can be one-shotted. They're pretty tough. I think they're the hardest. I don't know if it's a good idea to swarm more than two of these things because... You'd probably end up losing a Pikmin. I'm gonna try right now, let's see. There's two of them, can we swarm? We can. This guy can be a little annoying. But you should be able to deal with him. Arr, dang it, purples! I've had to have them before. Sometimes it's for the angles, man. Wow, they're just out of my range. Look at all this treasure too, because why not? It's great. Updates on shows? Well, I didn't want to watch it yet until the dub came up, but my friend was just like, you know what, Jake, you should just watch it. And I, I was like, you know what, fine, I'll watch it subbed. Then I'll go to back dub because I like the dub of it as well, like a lot. I watched the new season of Mob Psycho, and it's a great show. Like, just the show Mob Psycho is just. It's, new season two is just really good. 
Uh, hang on a second. This might be a little too loud. There we go. You can just see those purples there, but yes, though. When I was watching Mob Psycho Season 2, great. A lot of good things, right? A lot of good, a lot of great more characters. A lot, a lot more stupid moments. Stupid in a funny way. Uh, I like Mob's uh, progression as a character. I just keep, he's changing and everything like that. And it, it's like, oh, well, he's changing. It's not like season one now. I'm gonna hate it. No, it's actually. I think it's deserved, and I like it a lot. It's enjoyable to see him change and. A lot of things happen with him too and it's great a lot of good character moments I like seeing him hang out with when he has friends there was even episodes dedicated to his master it was like learning his backstory and everything and, and just uh even though even though he's uh, even though he's ridiculous and just stupid sometimes you know like when he's serious and everything and just showing us his past I was like, oh my god, I didn't realize I felt bad for him. He was just lonely and everything. He wanted to be someone. Freaking media and everything. What can you do with the media? Mm. There's still a purple on these guys. Any other Pikmin, they'll still drag it back with purples. They'll lose the struggle. It's enjoyable how Mob just wants to change and everything and how his master changes too and realizes that let's say the fight scenes too like man there are some good fight scenes what the There's just a lot of good fight scenes, and uh, fortunately, as today, uh, I guess the last episode, episode 12, is not airing out yet, because, I don't know, I don't know, well, that's fine, I can wait. I did, also did like seeing all the villains from season 1 work together to fight with, uh, like the new bads. I really enjoyed that. Uh, a lot of good special moves from uh, Reagan, the master. Like, they're all good. Hey, maybe some of them just ruined the flow of the battle, but you know what? I don't care. It's good. Nope, you die. We're not having any Pikmin die to these insects. Definitely a show worth watching. Good season. My favorite episode is probably episode 8. A simple episode of just Mob wanting to like improve himself for the track. Or marathon, I should say. And it's like, oh, well, that's, well, I don't care. Just like sports, whatever. It's just like everyone trying to help him, being supportive of him, him working, and just... It's, 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 an, it's a nice moment. It really is. It's probably like... That entire episode, I'd say, is just a good episode. You feel, like, every emotion in that episode. I mean, every emotion. For those who haven't seen it, you're like, what? And for those who have, like, yeah, yeah, he's right. <coughs> but I'm not one to spoil. I don't like spoiling shows. Not those dumb clickbaits. I hate those. That shouldn't be a thing. I don't know why people like that. People who like to know what happens beforehand, before watching the show. Those are weird people. I, maybe if you are one of those guys, like you like saying, "Oh, well, this is why, why this is why I do it." That's okay. Maybe if there's just a reason, I'm I'm just not seeing a reason. But I'm sure if like it was ex ever explained to me, I'd be like, "Oh, okay, that makes okay, that makes sense." But it's just not for me though. First instance of electricity. The yellow candy pop buds. I believe we want these in our Pikopedia. We at least have to use them once. So just let's. You don't need more than 30 yellows. Like, we could just get more, but we really don't. 30, is, 30 yellows is more than enough, so just throw one in there. I 
it's best for this uh cave, this floor, to uh explore it with purples and yellows. Unfortunately, um, though, you purple, you're too much of a risk. Cannot take. But all seriously, this though definitely a show worth watching. Uh, it's it just it does a lot of things right and does the the season does the next season for the show justice. Really yellow, you wanna be stuck? Really? You wanna be stuck? Dude? Let's have all of our have all these guys up so I don't get involved. Uh, okay. Uh, I haven't explained these enemies. It's, they're they're kind of like the enemy Pikmin's drag things to their nest, but you can get it back if you kill them. They take anything, and it's kind of crazy how they're just approaching me like this. Most more than likely, they'll have a treasure in their cave or hole, or whatever. But purples are the best way to deal with them. You can do it with the other base Pikmin too, but it's harder. Generally, with purples, you don't need to aim. It's great about them. That's why I always bring purples with yellows. Hmm. Hmm, any other good shows? Uh, also reminded my friends to finish the third season of the uh, My Hero Academia show. Which I was like, oh yeah, I never finished that. I stopped watching it. Forget why. I just watched all that in the movie too. Okay, show. Some parts were like, ugh. And other parts were like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I thought the movie was pretty good, though. I appreciated the movie. Good finale and a lot of good things in the movie. Nothing really too annoying about it. So I liked it. But it was, I thought going into the movie, though, would be more about All Might's past. Like, it would just be like his past, how he just became powerful and everything. Just everything about him. Which the start of the movie did, but... That was just a flashback to showing them when they first met. I'm not making that mistake again, fools. Other related news, uh, D and D wise, our campaign. Uh, apparently, we've run into zombos. Really strong zombos, though. Like, uh, I don't want to fight these guys. Okay, I got worried there. I was like, Pikmin, don't go to that guy, please. So we currently found ourselves surrounded by 20 zombies. Uh, we've done AOE attacks, like at least like over 70 damage, and they, none of them have died at all. I don't know if they're resistant to electricity. They're homebrew zombies, though. They're called Pox. Or similar Pox. I forget what exactly they're called. These based it off of something that took like a disease. And, uh, well, if they touch you, yeah, you might get infected. But except for me, though, I'm fine. I'm a construct. <laughs> I'm a construct monk, so they can't really do anything to metal. You can't, like, disease metal. You really can't. It's fucking possible. They can, I guess poison for me, though, would be, like, corrosion and stuff like that. Makes sense. Huh. Oh, there he is. I was like, where is this enemy at? Get him next. Now he decides to show up. And the best part is, uh, we're separated from the group. Our group of three, the Zombo group, and then another our remaining members. I am currently trapped with a monk and uh, crap. Uh, what's the two monks? I'm a monk. Uh, there's another sh monk too with us. It's like a shadow monk. Might be homebrew too. <sighs> and then uh. A war or a dwarf be like he's he's just a really tanky fighting dwarf with like so many weapons. I forget what class that is, but he's the slowest of the group, and we're separated. Uh, we we're considering on like running away, which honestly is not a bad idea because twenty zombies they aren't dying from AOE spells that much. Like they haven't died at all. Uh, the problem is they're getting across. Person we don't really have to worry about a lot is a shadow monk. He can shadow step, so we can just get just like whoop, get past the zombies. 
Me, I can run on walls. Like, all monks can do that's a feat. So I'm curious if I can... I'm, I'm sure I can do it. I was told it's 10 by 10, and I'm 6 feet tall, so... I might... It's po I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Our biggest concern is our dwarf. He's slow. He's like... His full speed's half my speed. It's... I move 50. If I wanted to, I could like dash 150 to 200 feet out of there. With all my... Things. Mm, I should have left one of these guys alive. Oh, whatever. That's just the situation we're currently in. Uh, uh, roll two nat ones on fighting out a bridge. I was like, really? Two nat ones? Almost lost my weapon of knockback magicalness staff. Uh, but I was able to save it. <laughs> But rolling two nat ones, I was like, yes, I want to knock these guys off a bridge. I want to see what happens. And, uh, I did, but it, at what cost? Rolling two nat ones. And then rolling a four. So, uh, like, my plus AC, like, my plus to hit was, like, barely off. I got, like, a plus ten to hit with my staff. It's ridiculous. But, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? I managed it one off, though. It's good. So some people did get scratched though. Uh, these animals are pretty dangerous though. They at least have a plus seven to hit us. So they have a fifty percent chance of hitting me. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking good though. From all the streams and stuff I've listened to, it's not like first one from actually like, running away from enemies. So I'm a little worried about that. How it's gonna go? But there's a bridge, like the bridge I was like rolled that ones on. So it's possible to. uh... God. Come on, just die. Accept your fate. Really? 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 That's what I was worried about. No, no, I can't let this guy live. I can't let this guy live. I'm not allowed to miss. I don't like missing. Missing is a curse. It's a plague on this world. Let's kill these guys before they like reunite. Come on, accept your fate. Who do we have here? This fool. Okay, this fool. Yeah, I'm not lying to it. This one even won't detect us. Yeah, screw you, boy. I don't care about the other one. This is this is a match for pride now. I can't let him live. Okay, I'll really bad at you. Oh, you know what? Just fine. Run into that coffee mug. It's fine with me. This is actually kind of a disadvantaged position for us, though. Like, we're out of the map, though, and he's already had three children with him. I've really never seen this enemy do this before. No, no, no. Oh my god, really? Fine, we're not finished with this. We're not finished with this! Alright, uh... Okay. Hey, brother. Ah! <clears throat> okay. Lost one Pikmin. I don't know which we lost. I think it was a blue. Sometimes, uh... That was, that was better than it could have gone. Wait. Okay, I'm getting a lot of re weird treasure spawns. Uh... Usually that coffee mug or something's on, like, the table there, so you need yellows. But it wasn't this time. Weird. Those enemies come back to life, I believe that was already explained. Uh, okay, you need to die. There we go, you're dead. DEAD! Hmm. 
how's our current situation? Uh, we're just kind of screwed with zombies. Uh, might be a party wipe. Maybe. But, we'll see what happens. What people did they lose? Blue, that's what I thought. I'd say, uh, one more floor and then we can call it an episode. But, uh, we'll just play by here, really. There's 20 of them, though. I really don't like this floor because, uh, plates. There's things. Oh, really? Ah, uh, what the? Oh my god, the yellow almost died! Fine, don't die, Pikmin, I don't care. Really unoptimal. Run! Okay. This is a dangerous floor to go out with all your Pikmin. It really is, so... Best to wipe them out with purples. Alright, I thought we had... We lose a purple? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know I came in here with 10 purples. What? That's weird. That's really weird. Lease your enemies, hard to stun. I don't like, I really don't like it when they're camped like this. You! No, 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 Okay, normally, okay, I'll be, I'll be fair with you guys. Normal, okay, like last time, last time, last time when I lost some Pikmin and falling off the edge, I was like, okay, you know what? Hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have reset it like that. I, I didn't lose that much, but losing that much Pikmin to that fool, to that thing. No, 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 no. I don't like resetting, okay? I, I'm trying not to. But situations where you lose like 50 Pikmin? No, I, I don't want to do that. Like, if I lose 20, it'll hurt, but I'll be like, okay, fine. You know what? You know what? It's okay. It's fine. Like, I lose 20 Pikmin, okay. Whoa. I didn't know one of the. Wait. It's I didn't know one of these were here. Huh. Still have nine for some reason, but mm. okay. Yeah, these enemies. Even more reason why these enemies suck. Better not. You. No. No. I wonder if you ever had one like buck them right into the boulder they throw they threw. Yeah. Okay, uh use a blue to make a blue. Still don't know why we lost a purple. We lost a blue! I knew the only other pick I threw in there was a yellow, but I didn't throw a purple in there. Oh, my brain's hurting. Let me throw some red in there. Why not? Oh, 
I'll probably fit call it after this floor. Still though, unlucky. Unlucky, like losing fifty Pikmin to these guys. Like it probably I still wouldn't find in this cave, but I don't wanna lose I really don't wanna lose fifty Pikmin to the, those. Or just fifty Pikmin in general. This is a nasty cave. Show yourself. Okay. You can use these bodies as shields though. Meat shields. That's always fun. Uh, no one's bucks not gonna get me. Dang, those things just don't go down. This is I do, I really don't like those. Shoot. Show mercy. Ah, it died. I didn't die. Thank God. Yeah, that's it. Leave your protection. Yeah. All right. You. It's done. No. Now time to finish this. There we go. Okay, all threats are pretty much dead now. Well, uh, never had that happen to me before. You know, in the back of my mind, I feel like, are they gonna die? No. I, you won't hit that precise angle. Okay. Well, as we're as the treasure's getting carried back, I'd say this is enough time. Enough, enough time. No, this is a good time to uh, end the episode. Uh, next episode we'll finish this cave because the last floor is sub level 6. And after that, maybe explore, probably do a lot of changes to the overworld above. <gasps> I think this is actually a funny name. Boom cone. All right, it's been the best check nine nine nine, and hope you've enjoyed this video. And ah, uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hopefully, uh, we won't die. We shouldn't lose that. We shouldn't lose any Pikmin to the, the boss in this game. We really shouldn't. If we do, I'll be surprised of how unlucky I've been. All right, see you guys.